So, MOC 
CEO. What did you guys find for that word? What does that mean? <laughs> Just say what it means. Just say what it means. <laughs> what does it mean? You are afraid to say what it is? No. <laughs> what does it mean? Do you guys not know what it means? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So then that's it. Then that's it. M-O-C-O. Well, M-O-C-O. Mogo. M-O-C-O. What is it? What does it mean? Come on, don't be shy. In Spanish. Ah. So that's what I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm asking In Spanish, what does it mean? It means booger. It means booger, yeah. It means booger in Spanish. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. So my area, where I'm from, is a big mountainous region. It's 52 district in this mountainous area. And it's, it's, it's spelled Mocho, M-O-C-H-O. But everybody in Jamaica, the English word is Mocho. And this area, it has a negative connotation. The same way, it doesn't mean Google, but it means that you're not, you know, astute, you're not from, you know, you're not smart. So it's a negative label they attach to this area. And it's used in a lot of folk songs and as jokes. Mm -hmm. If people want to say you need to smart, be smart, they say, where are you from? What up? You know? So a lot of Jamaicans are actually people who from outside of the area didn't really know that there's an actual place in Mokka. Because it's used so much as a joke. And that name came directly from the Spaniards. <laughs> and this in, in um, we could go to this slide. Okay. In 14. Oh, okay. So it's a lot of it's a lot of text, but in 1494 Christopher Columbus landed on Jamaica and he he kind of like claimed Jamaica for the Spanish that going forth. Um and he came here because it was quote unquote the land of gold. What is it? The land of blessed gold, but there's no gold there. So um, he didn't find any gold. He didn't find any gold, so he was really shocked. Um, and then after that, so the native people before, um, they were the Arawaks, or they were called Tainos. But then after the Spaniards came, they pretty much died out because of different diseases and also because conquering is not a nice thing. Just conquering someplace just means you're taking over. So. They died out, most of the, the indigenous people died, um, and then Jamaica was kind of just used as a base to stop over before you head to, to the Americas. So, yeah? They, they mainly use the island as fuel for their ships from Spain to Jamaica, fuel up to the Americas, South America. And um, one of the, the things there, they had some slaves, from Africa, but not a lot of slaves, because they weren't into plantation. They were just using it basically as a transshipment, a base to fill with the boat. Um, and then we can go. So the Spaniards were here from 1494 until, until 1655. There was a, a, a war between England and the Spaniards. And, the Spaniard, and England conquered Jamaica. Um, they, and they were there for over 300 years after that. They, they, the Spaniards that were there on the island, they ran away to Cuba. So they are the predominant settlers in Cuba. And the slaves that were there, and few of the indigenous um, Arabs that were there, they ran to the hills. And in Jamaica, we have a set of people that call them Maroons. And Maroon mean they, they are direct descendants from Spanish, 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 that they ran to the Mocha Mountains. Those mountainous areas. Well, I guess. They also ran to St. Thomas. Yeah, they ran to St. Thomas. Yeah, and Portland. So and the Mocha Mountains. And the Mocha Mountains. Mocha Mountains, which is St. Elizabeth. So here in Clarendon, Kocho, one of our, um, the leader of one of the, the faction that wanted freedom, he ran to the hills here in Mocha. And this area, 
all area, 52 district is called the local mountain. Then we went from here and it goes to this area called um, a compound in St. Elizabeth. She's from St. Elizabeth. <laughs> and there is a small area, like a small town in this area by the name of Moko. So there's two Moko in Jamaica, the Moko Mountains, which is a whole 52 district, and there is a district in Moko in St. Elizabeth. And that's where cultural final place was. They, those maroons, they have been free um, from slavery for over 275 years. The British signed a treaty with them because they were always fighting with them. Mm -hmm. So the British couldn't win them, so they, they signed a treaty with them. Mr. Samuel, could you tell us about the guerrilla warfare? Because I thought that was really Okay, so. The guerrilla warfare. The maroons, as you know, these are Spanish slaves, descendants. The guerrilla, they fought guerrilla. They didn't have, couldn't fight on it, the flat, the, the lever field. So what they would do is use their tactics from Africa. They would camouflage themselves with trees. So when the soldiers are coming, they would dress themselves up with tree branches and they would stand there and let the soldiers pass and then they would attack them with machete, guerrilla warfare. So most of the British soldiers, they would go back, those who were weren't killed during the attack, they would go back and say, you know, the weirdest thing, trees attack them. <laughs> so those were initial, those are their methodology of conquering and winning over um, the British. St. Elizabeth, predominantly most of the Jamaicans, the Jamaican population, they look at me, dark complexion. I lost my ears. <laughs> and, uh, but there's a very interesting center of this bit. People talk about center of this bit. They have her complexion. Or when you can and talk and I will. Yeah. Your <laughs> so you will go to this area where she's from and you will think that you're not, they are all tourists, they're visitors, um, because they have long hair like yours, early hair, some of the different shades. Um, so that they're from her region. Because that area in St. Elizabeth here, there's always a, a big port there. Ships come, sailors come from different areas. Michigan? Yes. <laughs> so a lot of different sailors would come to that area. A lot of German people, mm -hmm. British people, Spanish people. And they would appropriate the area have my complexion or lighter. Mm -hmm. So do you know what Patois is? What I'm going on. It's a, the dialect of Jamaica? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there is this joke that the people from St. Elizabeth speak the worst type of patois possible because, okay, you had all these um, soldiers and people coming from different areas trying to communicate a bunch of different languages mixed. So the patois in St. Elizabeth is really, really rough. It's if you're not from there, you possibly won't understand some words. You could use context clues to figure it out, but the words are slightly different. They were them, they were them really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's fact. Yeah. So he just said the words are really difficult to understand. <laughs> should, should I start serving some drinks? Yeah, yeah. Man, you can serve some yeah. drinks. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, man, you, can, you want some drink? I got jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. It's a Jamaican um, original uh, dish. But that jerk chicken was, it's not really a Jamaican, say Jamaican dish for the native. But this was started among the, the Maroons, those runaway um, slaves, especially in Portland. That's Nanny. Um, this is where it was started, jerking. And, and this is one of the things for their guerrilla warfare. They had to eat. So in order to, 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 to not be detected, they would not make an open flame. So they would dig the ground and put their pig or chicken, whatever, start a fire and cover it up with leaves. Cover it up so that you just see smoke. And with that kind of jerk chicken, it, it's not, it doesn't spoil easily. So if you are in the battlefield, you can keep it for days and you will eat it and it still has its taste because it's, it's cured. Like when you guys do your, your pork yeah. and your ham, mm -hmm. right? So it's like smoked chicken. 
And this is the region in Portland where the maroons are. This is where it came from. So basically, our jerkboard probably had some influence from the Spaniards. May we? May we? Yes, yes, yes. yes. How so is this, sir? From the Spaniard, and this is a stronger bread. Oh, yeah. No alcohol is in this. Stronger bread? But it's just more concentrated. Well, yeah, so it's made from this. So it's not made from a flower, but it also has a lot of ginger. Ginger. So that's why that version is more the stronger, yeah? Do you guys have any questions so far? Thoughts? Found anything interesting? Jason? So is the jersey like um, American beef jerky? Um, no. It's not like jerky. Like, is it like American beef jerky? So you know how that's chewy and it's not like it. It's been it's not like right? It's not you learn how more to do on it because we can base it on it. Share it with your friends. Yeah, take it. You can take it if you want. Yeah. 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 I'm about to favor, but serious. Take it. I have more. Yeah. You like it. And share it with your friends. <laughs> that, the jerk chicken, that's a hot one. You're welcome. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's not too spicy? Mm, I love spicy. No. Oh. oh, that's good. You see? That's, that's, that's good. Oh, oh, Paul, Paul Andre. I'll take it, I'll take it. Right. Yeah, they can. Have, you want some more of it? Yeah. So, there you go, you want more of this? No, you're good. That's good. <laughs> All right, man. So, look here, tell me more about yourself. From where you want to know. Where you come from. You want me to hold up the government name? You want everything. All right. I'm from St. Elizabeth. Um, mm -hmm. But I lived in Westmoreland for a short period of time before I moved to the United States. Right. Um, I was born in Mandible though because Black River Hospital wants to fix up. Oh! <laughs> yes. Um, right. What else? So, so they take you to what the hospital name of this one? Hargreaves. Yeah, Hargreaves. Take care. Take care. See you next week, guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Hargreaves and Yaga. Yeah. Mandible Public. Oh, okay, so you, you do Hargreaves. Hargreaves. Right, right. And Caledonia Road. Mm. Yeah, man. There's <laughs> no place, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Try it. <laughs> um, so, and then you're here in Spain. What are you doing? Yes, so I'm an English teacher mm -hmm. right now. So tell me, which high school you went to? I went to <coughs> the elite Hampton School. Shua Bossy. Summer Tuesday into Manitante. All right. <laughs> Dr. Distance, you took me. You, you introduced me to the Hampton girls. So okay. this is one of your... Oh. I'm done, babe. Okay, yes. <laughs> oh, so which primary school do you go? With courage and courtesy. I went to Santa Cruz Preparatory School. Mm -hmm. Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. What she wanted to clean? Close. Can you just double check that everyone has? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, sorry. Clean up your chalkboard. Chalkboard. <laughs> <laughs>